Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to bring you some more Peglin. Uh, it's this new game, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Uh, it's a pachinko roguelike, seems pretty cool, so I wanted to try it out. Uh, we happen to somehow already be at this high crucible level, I don't know why, but uh, we're gonna do it. I think maybe someone, uh, we had a build last time that was really cool. Um, but this is the first time I'm playing this game, don't worry. I don't know, this bit's dumb. Uh, I'll, I'll stop the bit. Uh, <laughs> we're jumping into the game. Last time was really fun, really blessed run. Uh, unfortunately, Minesweeper boss, um, or uh, yeah, Minesweeper boss came and slapped us. Uh, we're gonna take Apple a day to try to somewhat unnerf this Crucible level, right? We have now 95 max HP then uh, instead of 100. Uh, and um, so I don't know, maybe we get as blessed as we did last time. Probably not, but I don't know. It, it gave us the opportunity to win. If you guys didn't see last episode, even if now that you know we didn't win, it was still an incredible. I, I I genuinely like don't think we've gotten that blessed ever um, in a very long time. It was it was amazing, um, and it was really fun. Even though we didn't win, uh, we got so close. That's what's what's awful though. Like when when we die to the boss, Act Three boss. That's what is uh, brutal sometimes because it's like you get so close. Like you can almost taste victory. You know. Um, but we're here, and uh, we're seeing what kind of shenanigans we might be able to get um, into here. Um, I don't know if that was worth it. I was hoping... Oh, man. I, oh, jeez. I was hoping to do some of the damage on the bottom, but I think they were going to die anyways to the bombs. So, oh, my. Okay. Took a little bit of damage, but hey, we have 84 to 95, right? We had more HP to begin with. Um, man. And it's like, I don't know, I keep trying this Bucklorb. I keep trying it, and I never, I never get it to work. Who are we fighting, first of all? Uh, we are fighting the Mole Boss. So in that case, I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade Sphere to level 3. I love just being able to upgrade our starting Sphere to level 3. Very, very nice here. Um, so we'll see, we'll see about that. Um, because, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I, like, the, the Bucklorbs, I just feel like I do not have much uh, good luck with them. I... There's a couple, we talked about it a little bit last episode, right? You know, obviously since we've been playing Baladin now for a couple episodes. Um, there's a couple uh, Baladin orbs and stuff that are really, really good. Like the the one that uh, turns pegs into shielded pegs, uh, which is technically bad, but it gives you a bunch of ball work um, in exchange. And that one's really good. Um, I think the one that doesn't do damage... Uh, but gives you more ball work, I think can somewhat be worth it once you get into castle. I think there's just a lot of uh, areas in the first uh, little world or area, whatever we want to call it, that just don't have a lot of pegs to begin with that make it kind of hard to be worth it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's like I'm so tempted to try to do things like irresponsible and stuff. I just, I never have success with those types of builds. Now, the times I've gotten close to it is when you get some of the crazy combos with some of the relics, right? Where... Um, you know, there's a couple. I uh, very much want this refresh shield. Refresh the board every reload. Please, 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 damn. Okay, grabby hand's not terrible because we have sphere. I obviously wanted refresh shield as that's like the best refresh relic in the game, but whatever. We're okay. Pebble, pebbles are buffed. Suffer the sling. Helps us early on. Don't think we're gonna do an orbalisk build, but I don't know. I mean, never say never, right? We did it about two episodes ago. And it was it was good, not good enough to, to beat the game, um, but you never know, you never know, you never know. Um, mm, so yeah, now if I were to target like straight up, right now I don't have to do those weird angles that I always talk about, right, uh, with AOE uh, because I have grabby hands. So grabby hands, not bad. Um, I just really wanted refresh shield. Oh man, dude, taking a beating. Okay, we're hitting all these shields. Don't want to deal with you guys. Um, let's get some gold. Nice. Yeah, just want to spend as long as I can getting as much gold. Okay, well, game's over. <laughs> but we, not game, but combat. Icicle. Nope. Um, I don't know. Highway Orbery. I don't know. I think we're gonna just hold off. Um. And we don't risk it. Give me, give me some gold. Three extra gold here. Sheesh! I went to make dinners over here. Still not with a W. <laughs> we got really close last time. Fortunately, that means last episode, our TCG guarantee seal of approval uh, did not work out. 
but it was it was a fun build last time. I'm still, oh, still. My emotions. I got. I got. I got to lower lower my emotions because that was such a uh, such a fun build last time. But I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll get more blessed here. Uh, base damage increases the lower your health is. Damage multiplier increases at higher orb levels. You know what? We haven't done Angry Tomahawk in a while. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Sometimes it can save save you, right? So if you're like almost about to die, it'll do a crap ton of damage. If you're not about to die, um, it'll be it'll be pretty good, or it won't be good. But um, because is it based on what is it based on? Total base damage increase the lower your health is. I don't know if it's based on your percentage of max health or if it's based on total health. I hope it's total health because obviously we start with less max health. So hopefully that just inherently means that Angry Tomahawk's, you know, a little bit better. Don't know, um, but whatever. Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to target the top ones just because I don't want them to hit me. Yep. So see, bam. Oh, whoa. How did that, how did that hit that plant? What? That's... I was not expecting it to hit the plant in the back. I guess the plant is just really tall? That's crazy. That's crazy. Not, not that I'm complaining. Taking less uh, projectile damage is, uh, is very good by me. But I uh, just didn't know that that's how that specific little interaction works. And we got a lot of the money here as well, which is nice. So... Um... Grants Muscle, which is nice. Um, but yeah, you know what? We could. Tr I don't know. We could try this. I just don't know if we we don't have healing to to take damage. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I feel like we need some some scaling or something. But you know what? I'll I'll actually just do Angry Tomahawk. Um, played a little bit safe. If we had any form of healing. I might have gone for that, but... Okay, extra refresh. I like that. We'll go ahead and fight some elites, because if we're low health, angry Tomahawk will be okay. Oh, okay. Um, That's a pretty good first. If it had hit another refresh, that would have been even better. Um, Okay, angry Tomahawk's a 4-5. Nothing crazy. Hit a refresh. So, 100 and... 44 damage is wonderful there. Um, come on. Get a refresh. Nope. 26. Okay, we're going to take... No, actually, this might be able to do 91. Come on, 91 damage. 91 damage. Terrible, please. Please. No. Damn. Okay, that's fine. But now this is a 7-8. A little bit stronger here because we're lower health. We took one damage. It was very close to not taking any damage. <sighs> but we'll go for it. Um, weak crit damage that cannot be modified. Um, hmm. I hate to do it. I think I have to heal. We will heal and I'm going to save my money... No, actually, we'll try Protector. We said earlier that we like the one that... um. Uh, gives us, uh, does no damage, but gives us more shield. So we'll try that. Go ahead and do wall chicken here. Puppet's really good as well, but I think 25 max HP is obviously a little bit stronger. Um, I think we can still make this chest here. Ramsey was, uh, sleeping and Jojo's now attacking him. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, they are going at it. They are going at it. So I don't know. Angry Tomahawk, something that will be okay, but like there may be a single situation in which case, like, we are just absolutely saved because of it. That's kind of what I'm hoping. I thought Ramsey was the naughty one. Ah, he overall is. But JoJo definitely was the instigator there. They, they, they like play fighting a lot. I think they're going to settle down and keep keep napping. Okay. So, I don't know. This is a level one, so it doesn't really give us much uh, shield here. Uh, we'll target these projectile guys. Yeah, give me that refresh. 
bomb? No, if we had hit the bomb, we would have been completely okay. Maybe get a little bit more gold. I mean, even at, oh, I guess it's 60 HP. So we have 120 HP, which is a good, good little HP pool here. Um, wish we had a little bit more HP. We're going to go ahead and up, up, uh, I was going to say update. Um, I want to get gold. Uh, okay. We just got to really hope we go to the left. Cool. Went to the left, got one, one gold here. Cat Thunderdome stream soon. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, uh, man. Nah. I'm not going to be convinced to do an Orbalisk build here. Maybe if we lose again, like we do a whole other video and then it offers us Orbalisk. I just, we did Orbalisk recently and it wasn't the greatest. I mean, it was okay. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Every three times the board's refreshed, gain a muster cool. Okay. Okay. So that gives us something to go for. We have the extra refresh, which is really helpful. So we want to get as many refresh orbs as we can. I would love for this to, if we end up winning, uh, for this to give us unpretentious pendant as well, but... So we're going to get a little bit of shield. We got nine ball work, which gave us one extra muster cool, which is nice. Just hope to not get uh, crits. So I don't know. The, the boob broccoli relic definitely uh, gives us something to potentially do um, to work uh, towards. Because you get a, a, you know, refresh orb and now you're, I mean, that's, that's crazy. It's really good. So um, I'm going to just probably target the bombs and pray that we somehow hit a refresh. Probably not how it's gonna work, but never mind. That's how it works. Cool, cool. And uh, we do have a level three sphere. This is nice. That's why I like fighting the mole, especially. I mean, we talked about it a lot, but especially on the Baladin. Though I don't know. Still a little bit worried, to be honest. A little bit of ball work there. Just want to keep hitting refreshes. The more refreshes we hit, uh, more damage we get. Eventually, um, nice bomb and a refresh. Okay, plus 78 damage. So we've got the mold to about half health. Uh, as we're taking more damage, right? This angry tomahawk is going to be pretty angry. And we hit a refresh, so 231 damage there. That's what I'm saying, angry tomahawk, man. We haven't used it in forever. Um, definitely nice here. Now, now it's a 12-12. Dude, Angry Tomahawk! Angry Tomahawk just won it there for us. That's what I that's what it's there for, so. Okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and upgrade Protect Orb. And I'm gonna hold on to my money here. Uh gift is interesting. Um Sealed Conviction wouldn't be terrible if we could just focus on removing things. Gift is fun as well. Um I'm gonna go gift. I'm gonna go gift. I'm gonna go gift. Uh, but yeah, no, Tomahawk, pretty cool. Definitely helped us there. We're fighting the Ballista. We have the health pool for it. Hmm, okay. I was kind of hoping for wall. Um, Cause wall can be kind of nice when you have gift. Gift sometimes interacts a little bit weird uh, against the Ballista fight. Sometimes the things get stuck on the sides of the map or whatever. Um, I don't feel very confident, to be honest, with where my AoE is right now, so I definitely want to find more AoE. Uh, definitely, definitely. We have a big health pool, I just, we don't have healing, we just have a big health pool, and that's a different thing. Uh, technically though, Gift does help uh, Protect Orb a lot more, right? We got 12 ball work there. I uh, just got tw a little bit more. Right, which does buff non-crit damage. I say as I get a crit there, but whatever. 180. Ah, oh, so close to uh, to killing this. Maybe I can get a bomb. I should have uh, what's it called? I've been discarding. There we go. Okay, cool. That bomb's big because now we don't have to deal with this guy. And uh, yeah, so we want I think more AOE and we want uh refresh things. Gift has definitely screwed me on the Ballista. Yeah, it can definitely be a little bit of an interesting kind of attack pattern and stuff like that, for sure. Okay, 136. And... Um, cool, killed. Um, protect Orb. Ooh, I might go Signal Boost Orb. Yeah, Signal Boost Orb... 
would be pretty good with all this muster coal that we have. So we'll go ahead and buy that. Um, I'm going to refrain from upgrading it, though. Oh. Is it really worth going to the shop? No, I think I just... Oh. No, let me go for the... Uh, I should have upgraded it then. I think we're going to actually go for this chest in Elite and then hopefully go to a shop near the end. Reduce self-damage from orbs by 50%. Um, so that may influence. Maybe we actually take some of the self-damage orbs. Um, not going to remove all my orbs, but I will definitely gratefully remove the terrible. Um, hoping to get some events here on the left. Navigation gets a lot harder once you have gift. Still got to go where we wanted. Um, probably just going to remove another pebble. Don't want to upgrade all my stones. If we were doing Orbalisk, that would have been nice, but... Um, okay. So duplicate a random orb, please... Or do I duplicate all? Is this a time to duplicate all? We don't have any reason to have a small deck technically. So I'm actually going to duplicate all. I'm going to duplicate all orbs. One of the few times I think we're going to do that. The fact that we were able to just remove two of our bad orbs right before. Um, I think that makes it uh, work pretty well. Um, okay, we're going to fight. Definitely don't want three pebbles. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we have uh, two spheres now, which is nice. Two angry tomahawks, two signal boost orbs, uh, two protect orbs. So, a lot of stones, obviously. But, uh, you know, that's okay. We, we have a discard. Um, so, even though this does less damage, I just want to get through my deck here. And yeah, Signal Booster is going to mainly be really good for us in boss fights. I think we just we just really need... We really need a way to heal. That's... that's I think that's the biggest thing that I, I want. Like, I would love if we got, like, Cookie and then, like, a Refresh Orb or something. That would be incredible. Do have all this shield, but once again, sometimes it's not that most consistent there. But I don't know. Gift is really helping this out here a lot, right? Got uh, 15 just from that. Need that refresh. Come on. Actually, no, that's fine. There we go. How do we find 216? Just gotta do 108. Oh, that, that was a bad throw on my part. I'll admit that. Though, Gift kind of saved it there. Gave us some uh, good stuff here. Angry Tomahawk. Bam. So, with Angry Tomahawk and Signal Booster, we're, we're very, like, late game-ish. Okay, also definitely have to heal here. Um, and I just don't want any chance to go to the fire. Maybe I should have tried to grab that. This could have been a beautiful Orbalisk run. It could have. It could have. Um, okay. Not a big fan of, uh, this fight, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna go. Really depends on how easily we can get the refreshes. Your tomahawk's a 5-6. We do have Gift, so I, I should try to get him stuck to the left side of the wall. Gift on this map, if you can get stuff stuck on that left side, is really nice. 260. Come on, just give me a crap ton of shield, crap ton of uh, uh, extra damage. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Already have 24, which is already giving us two must circle. Another angry tomahawk here. Oh, that was a... Mm, that one was great. It was not great. Need a refresh here. That's the problem. Our refresh situation is very bad right now. Come on, give me a refresh. I mean, 288's a decent amount of damage. I don't know, though. <sighs> I don't know. Slow things down here. Oh. Okay, we got a refresh. Okay, okay, that turned out okay. We got 39 ball work here, which now makes the signal booster have 11 uh, non-crit damage. That's what I'm saying. So we're, we might take some damage here, but then as we take more and more damage, things like signal... Oh, that was a crit. That just freaking murdered the damage there. But once again, would love uh, Unpretentious Pendant like we did last episode. 203. Oh, God. 
Okay, hitting the crit on that is fine because this isn't doing any damage. We just buffed up our damage. Oh my god, though. Angry Tomahawks now at a 1612, 336. We have two Angry Tomahawks here. This is now a 1916. Think we should be able to do it. Come on, Angry Tomahawk. You've saved me before. It saved me again. We're extremely low. But, uh. Angry Tomahawk saving us again, I suppose. Heal. Oh my god, though. I don't know how I recover from this. I truly don't. Um, wow. Okay. So peg bag's really good. Um, I'm just 28 and we're fighting ballista. If we had been fighting a wall, this would have been fine. Um, I can't take any damage right now. Um, I will 15 gold to upgrade an orb. That's probably worth it. The statue appreciates the offering, but it is ever hungry for more. I didn't know you take damage for doing that. I really want to go to the right, but uh, I don't really get a choice here, I don't think. Damn. Okay. Hmm. Every reload grants muster call, which is good, but we're not fighting muster call. I cannot fight an elite right before the boss. I cannot. Is the game updated recently? I don't think so. I'm not taking anything. I think we I think we lose the run here. I was somewhat tempted to just die to that event because that's an achievement we haven't gotten before. Oh, jeez. I don't know, y'all. I, I can't take any damage here. I take any damage and we are screwed. Oh, are you kidding me? You got stuck up there? It's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> Come on, 250 damage. I need 250 to stop taking projectile damage. Should, have, should be able to have that. Okay. And now, ah! Oh. We're not having a fun time here. We just don't have any way to heal besides capitalism. And we know how, how that goes. <laughs> At least here in America. Okay, I just I we I think we immediately lose. We 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 got to get really lucky with the shields to make it to caves here. Cause I heal. We can take one hit and that's it. That's it. One hit, and that is it. So we better hope to get some of the shield stuff early on. Okay, angry tomahawk. So this does give us a. Big burst of damage early on. And we do, okay, we do have the two protect orbs here at the beginning, so. This is doable. No, don't go down there! No! That's what we were saying. It's not the best there. Ugh. I need it. No! Okay. Yeah, I just did it again. I mean, we have enough shield to protect us for. I think one more hit. An angry tomahawk's a huge damage number, but it, it, that's the thing. We don't have piercing, so this is just totally going to get wasted. If we had piercing, this would be wonderful, but it's just going to hit the first one. That's the thing. It's just going to keep hitting the first one. Probably need to just keep... Honestly, if we want any chance of surviving, I think we have to discard every single time. Because if we don't, we're not going to get our shields back up in time. And even then, it's only a chance. So... I don't know. I think we lose this. There's a small chance we win it. But, so that's beaten through uh, 30. So that's the thing. Are we going to, it depends. We have to get lucky. If we don't get lucky getting our shields again early on, then we are definitely screwed. Okay, we did get one of them. We did get one. Now we hope that we can get a, a refresh here. It's not going to happen though. Okay, so here is... No! Oh, it needed to not fall there. Nah, we're, we're dead. We lose. We lose the game! The game is lost. Oh, man. It just, it's always like, 
knowing that like if we had fought other bosses right like last episode if we had fought any other final boss we would have been fine like there if we had fought in the um the other boss we would have probably been okay so that's okay that's okay we made it to uh f deep into uh, castle there so that was fun <sighs> try another run here if you won, you would barely have any HP. Yeah, we would heal half of all of the HP and we did have 120 max HP, so I think we would have been somewhat okay, but um, definitely kind of an F. I just, yeah, that's what I'm, I just, hmm. I don't know, I don't know. We always, we, we our, our hypothesis was that Baladin was, was one of the strongest classes for high crucibles. Um, and then they buffed Roundrel, right, with the new statuses. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I still believe that, right? We, we can't really count Peglin, like the normal Peglin class, because we have not played the Peglin class in forever. It's been literal months. I'm honestly very excited for 1.0. I hope that we can beat Crucible 15 for every character before 1.0 comes out. That way when there's 20 Crucible levels for every character, that gives us something to do, right? Like, just start over again. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And we're fighting slime here too. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Spinventor, Spinventor is definitely my favorite, um, class. That's for sure. Um, but just now that we're kind of revisiting Baldin on a higher crucible level, I, I still feel like he's probably one of the strongest ones. Taking damage on a bad event there. Oh no, I wanted to go to the right. I think the oh man we got we got to fight this elite then, we got to fight the elite to uh, to to make up for this here. That's okay, we got it, we got it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry. Just trying to hold off getting these bombs here, as much gold as I can before I just murder everyone. Okay, we at least have twenty five. But I also just do not want to take any damage, so. Okay. Runs over. Or no, I guess I said the same thing. Okay, refresh circle. Gotta take that because we need something to help with our refreshes. Probably gonna die to this elite. Uh, I hope it's the three uh, little dudes. Hey, let's go. So we have extra bombs here, so. I feel like that's pretty good. Plus we have this sphere. Cool, 75 plus the 35. Decent start there. These other bombs. Okay. Hey, and it hit the refresh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I didn't hit. What? Expecting to get one of those. Expecting to get one of those. There we go. There's the other two. That's 70 more damage. Uh, I'm going to try to get this bomb. Nice. Okay, yeah. Having the extra bombs here, that's why I wanted to fight this fight. Still taking a little bit of damage. A little bit more damage than I wanted to. Oh, I think it's okay. Got the 26. And can we get 50? Probably gonna need another one. That's fine. Um. Oh, he had one, but that's fine. Gave us a chance to get more gold. We're doing a horror game today? We are at the end of the stream. I'm excited. Something caught my eye, so. Um, upgrade sphere. Okay, pegs have a 7% chance to refresh Torch, into bombs. Are you okay? Okay, once again, let's try a bomb build. I <laughs> Very rarely do bomb builds work in High Crucible, but we'll try it, at least as a, a secondary here. Uh, and hey, Dinosis, thanks for following. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, even though this is gonna... No, we'll go ahead and get the, uh, the egg. And uh, you know what? I honestly feel like I need to go big or go home. Uh, there's no way we beat slime with just doing nothing here. Okay, okay, this is good. 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 I can make this work. I can make this work. I can make this work. We got extra bombs here, so... I jump scared by the Torchic again. <laughs> in my experience, Baladin has been easier to play Baladin in the way they built for him. It's kind of boring, but it gets wins, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we've definitely talked about that a lot before, how, uh, very one-trick pony since the, uh, buff. But, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, Alchemist Cookbook used to, uh, nerf damage. It doesn't do that anymore. I mean, it hasn't done that for a while, but, 
Um, because yeah, they would be doing like no damage right now if they did. Um, yeah, starting with Pierce is nice. That's definitely a nice thing about him. But yeah, it really does feel like uh, you you really have to like kind of one trick pony or whatever uh, to get him. We're not going to have taken any damage here for an elite, which is really really good. And got a lot of gold here as well. And we do have the egg, so hopefully we can get a bunch of good healing. Oh man, okay. Restorb and upgrade Restorb. <gasps> oh, you're gonna offer me some of the best ones ever. Oh. Fiery Furnace is insane, but my, this is mine. That's my relic. <sighs> okay, let's go my relic here. Maybe that gives us enough HP, I don't know. We haven't got my relic in a while. We got my relic and a restore. I don't know if we're gonna have enough raw damage, but maybe, maybe, I don't know. <sighs> Cookbook doesn't nerf bombs? No, it used to. It used to take damage off. Uh, it does not anymore. Um, I don't know if that was when they added more crucible levels, including the one where they nerf bombs. It was somewhat recently, or like somewhat of a recent patch, but definitely like a long time ago in terms of time decision. I really wanted that other one. That other one makes Castle an absolute breeze. But, gotta go with my own relic, right? Gotta go with my own relic. So every time we kill one of these guys, we're getting an HP, max HP. Get that refresh. And we're getting a ton of bombs because of Alchemist Cookbook. The only problem, right, is it does permanently destroy the peg. So it's kind of scary. Uh, gotta upgrade it here. We need as many combats as we can. That's what we're looking for. As many combats as we can. Please don't put me in the fire. Yeah, there we go. Uh, start each battle with one muster coal. It's pretty good for this character. And we want as many combats as, can, as we can. As many opportunities to buy heals, maybe get more raw damage, build up my max HP. So this is gonna be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six max HP just from this combat. God, I want this build to work. I want this build to work so badly. So badly. I have a little bit more damage now too with the starting with one Mustercle, which is nice, which does give us ball work. Yeah, uh, for every 10 ball work you gain, whenever another effect costs you to gain muster cold. Yeah, every time I, so yeah. At the, so at now every combat I'm starting with um, two ball work and one muster cold, which that one muster, or uh, one uh, two ball work isn't biggest thing ever, but it can help. Definitely helps add up for sure. And we have the egg for healing as well in the slime fight. Sometimes you can, end up getting a lot because it doesn't break if you hit the slime pegs. Okay. Can't be taking no damage here. There we go. Cool, and we have 50 exactly, which is good. So we can upgrade, I don't know, I need, uh, okay, well, Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to heal. I think we're fine. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade Refresh Circle. Just make sure we get combats. I think by the time we fight the boss, um, if we just keep doing combat, 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 uh, we will have gotten back up to 100 max HP, which is nice. If we could somehow find something that buffs bombs, then I would feel pretty confident, but... I don't know. Feels like ages since I've seen Doctorb. Yeah, I think Doctorb is maybe only on the default Peglin character. Because there's some things that are only on that default Peglin class. And I think that might be one of them. I'm not 100% though. Oh yeah, and oh, I did forget about that. Yeah, we want this refresh circle as much as we can. Because right, every time we refresh, they have a chance to turn into bombs. So, yeah, we do want to be upgrading that refresh. That is a big point. Yeah, we end up getting a lot of bombs. Now, 
scary for long-term fights, right? Like some of the cave fights, we could get screwed by that. But for right now, maybe we get something cooking. Nice. Is that enough? Yeah, just enough actually. Um, we're gonna upgrade the refresh circle again. And uh, you know what? I kind of tempted to buy the Swarb. I need single target damage. I hate that one, but honestly, I need some single target for this uh, slime, so I'll do it. My favorite things to do is to go into a custom with all the bomb relics just to see how bad I can break the sound. <laughs> That's pretty good. So we're at 100 max HP, which is nice. And I can hit, all, hit, hit the bombs all I want because I'm gonna keep getting more and more, so. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to end up with 50 gold here. We'll definitely end with 25, obviously. Do not want to use the egg. That could very much help us in the slime fight. But like, yeah, see, it's like some of the pegs just permanently get destroyed. Which is fine now, but it won't be fine later on. Unless we get that other orb where empty spaces can get refreshed back into bombs or something. So much love from Poland. Hey, I'm technically Polish. I'm like 25% Polish. So hello. It's like the, the biggest percentage I have. So it doesn't really mean anything, but technically, technically, technically. Come on, let me go to the combat. Cool. Is salt a universal relic? I think so. I do believe so. Okay. So we're going to have plenty of health for this fight. That's the good thing. Oh, I was greedy. I was greedy. I was about to say, like, am I not going to get any bombs there? <laughs> Perfect. Um, or bust. Or bust. Definitely taking an or bust. And I will try to gather some gold here. Cool. A little bit of us. You one of us. <laughs> one of us. One of us. Okay. Um, well, gonna hit. Oh, I shouldn't have done that refresh first. I was thinking it would give me bombs, but obviously it only works if actually refreshing things. Okay, crit, 90. Um, definitely gonna hold off on the, uh, the egg. I don't know, even though these bombs don't do a lot of damage, maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. Crit there, but that didn't matter, 44. Plus a bomb, got ore bust here. So we're gonna get that refresh. We've added a ton of bombs here now. Now if we had enhanced gunpowder, that'd be amazing. I think we'll be okay here, especially with egg. We should have this in the bag. 160. Glad we took Swarb. And then refresh circle. Now we just try to get as many of these bombs as we can. They don't do a lot of damage. <laughs> do some damage though. Okay. Should be able to kill right here, right now. Mm, yep, there we go. Okay. And uh, that, we're back to full HP. We're at 121 max HP. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we just upgrade Orbust. That's definitely the way to do it. Uh, gift. All Orbs get... Uh, we need that refresh. We technically don't, but we probably do. Let's say Gift again. Tried the laser cannons and crab champions yet? Uh, no, I'm waiting till it officially hits the uh, the full version. I don't really want to play like a beta of an already beta game, you know? I know technically it's it's like the proper thing for me if I wanted to like get all them views as a content creator is to play betas as early as I can, but pacing myself, right? We're waiting till it officially comes out, but you can bet your ass we're gonna be doing it when it officially comes out. 
Hey, Abertu. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the 26 months. Prime, howdy, howdy. Hope you're doing well. All right, now we got a lot of health. Promising build here. A lot of bombs, which bombs will help us here in this uh, area for sure. I didn't even see what fight are we? Please tell me we're fighting Ballista. Okay, we're fighting Ballista. I like that. I like that. We actually got the good boss fight here that we wanted, right? Both wall and Ballista are both equally hard. It truly depends on what build you have. And so because we have a ton of HP, we want the Ballista. Because it doesn't matter how much HP we have. If we fight the wall, wall's going to fucking murder us. And hopefully, hopefully, dude, I would love if we could actually uh, get the event, the cake event, right? To turn the egg into cake and gain 50 more max HP. would absolutely love that. Don't know if it's going to happen, but whatever. We'll see. Probably tr I'll probably purposely try to go to as many events as I possibly can. Um, to try to make it happen. 138. Perfect. Um, I'll take the other thing. I don't want Buck Lorb. I'll take the one that does no damage, though. Uh, upgrade Orbust. And we'll go to the left. Definitely think I can go fight Elites here. I got a lot of HP here. Will we play Peglin when it officially comes out? No, I think that's what I think that's what I'm gonna stop playing. I think you'll like the update when it drops. Been having a ton of fun with it. Yeah, I know a lot of about uh, in it, like the new melee weapons, some of the new uh, weapons themselves, new mini games. Very excited to check it out. See now, if we found Boob Broccoli. With Refresh Circle, we'd be really happy. Cookie as well. But yeah, having our item plus Restorb. Gonna have a lot of HP. Very happy we're not fighting against uh, the wall. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to save money for the shop. I think that's my plan. At the very least, just remove something. Because it's right next to us here. I'm trying to gather all that I can. Be sick if I could somehow get 80, but I don't... Know if that's gonna happen. Probably not. At the very least, we could buy a, uh, you know, a relic that we really want. Ooh, okay, got a decent bit of gold there. We're at 70. 70, 70. So, holding on to our money. Get a little bit more money. Now we're at 71. Seal time? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Hmm, okay. Huh. It's like Super Boots is good, Fresh Bandana is good, Ambidex Janeri is good. As much as I want Fresh Bandana, I think Ambidextionary is the play. Because that effectively is like me getting rid of a lot of the uh, pebbles in my deck. Right? I think that's actually the play. Okay. Oh, nice. Starting off with a sphere. Come on, give me 200 damage. Let's go! Let's go! I wonder if Mask of Joy is going to be added to Round Rules Pool now that he has a bunch of self buffs. Uh, he's got... Uh, he's got Illusion. And then I guess he's got Muster Coal or, um, you know, the, the, the other thing. Um, I don't know. Mask of Joy doesn't seem like it would be too great with... Uh, maybe. Might be good with the Illusion. That is an interesting thought. Wait, Mask of Joy. Is Matt, does, do they, does Mask of Joy not on? For some reason I was thinking Mask of Joy and, and the Mask of Sorrow or whatever the hell it's called. I thought they were Round Joy Relics. But I'm assuming you know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, that probably could be. Probably could be. Mask of Sorrow is. Oh, okay. Yeah, depending on how the interaction with the illusion stuff. I think that could be pretty good. B 
Bomb. Nice. Bomb gets that shield. Dude, our max HP, man. I would love for us to just get a win, end up with like over 300 max HP. That'd be pretty sick. Poltergeist. Okay, Protect Orb is kind of what I was wanting. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get Protect Orb here. Because with Gift, Protect Orb is absolutely insane. I was hoping to get a little bit more gold than that. I've done Belusion builds with it on regular Peglin, and it's kind of broken. Yeah, I'm very excited to finally play Peglin again in the future. Like, once we do all the 15 Crucible... We'll probably just play pe normal Peglin character for a little bit while we wait for 1.0 if we end up beating all the 15 Crucible levels with all the everyone else. A little bit scared about this fight. I kind of would have preferred most of the other fights, to be honest, but I think we'll probably be okay. Yeah, Ambidextron area I think was definitely the right choice. Oh, I say as I didn't even use it. Duh. There we go. I used it there. I need to actually use my relics that I picked to make them worth it. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is going to give us a crap ton of damage and uh, shield, probably. Yeah, Gift with Protect Orb. Really good. It's only level 1, so it didn't really do much there for us, but... This guy's scaling pretty hard. A little bit scared. Having just played around as the base Puglin with Mask of Joy and Vitamin C, Mask of Joy matters not a lot in terms of Belusion. So that's what I was wondering. It, it really depends on how the interaction works. That was a good amount of damage there. Unfortunately, actually I'll go ahead and use Terra Ball. Nope, damn. Less damage, okay. Oof. So now he's at freaking 117 shield. Okay. 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 And I'm glad that we took Swarm. Still haven't gotten it to level 3, but I am very happy that we got some single target damage. Do feel like we needed it. Happy that we picked it up. Cool. That's the elite. Wasn't too bad. Um, not going to get any shops here anytime soon, so we'll just upgrade Protect Orb. Ooh, previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed, but bombs deal less damage. That's fine. That's fine. So our bombs suck, but now we no longer soft lock ourselves. We no longer screw ourselves uh, by destroying the pegs. So now our bombs only do, what, 20 damage? But that's huge. That's what we wanted. That is what we wanted. Now it's time for a seal. I don't know about that. <laughs> but... I don't know. I thought last seal was going to work. It didn't. So I think we're going to lay off the seals for a while. Definitely what we wanted, though. Now, if we get enhanced gunpowder, I might seal. <laughs> you let me see enhanced gunpowder, I might give you a time to grind guarantee seal of approval. But until then, I don't know. Um, yeah, just the fact that, oh man, dude, all those can just keep getting refreshed. I mean, that that's the combo, Recom Recombobulator and Alchemist Cookbook. So here we go, now we can, all those bombs are back. Don't, they don't do a lot. But also, yeah, if we could buff up our bomb damage, that would be huge as well. Dude, I would love that if, if we could actually get a victory on a max HP bomb build, some of my favorite types of builds in this game, I would love it. I hope, I hope it can. Either way, this has been a totally fun build and I think we'll be okay. I mean, Ballista is the boss that we wanted to fight. If we, oh, sorry. If we fought Wall, I think we would have lost though. That's the thing. You really do just get countered sometimes so hard depending on who you're fighting. Okay, building up a crap ton of shield here. Yeah, 17. That was a good amount. Oh, okay, yeah, and I keep forgetting about Ambidextionary. Need to be discarding more than I am. Oh, just, yeah, bombs do not do a lot of damage. This thing. Okay, give me more shield here. Oh, 
I need that refresh. Cause I can't get this this one on the map. But we'll have it here. Definitely just thought using uh, Orbust was worth it. Okay, cool. We killed the projectile guy. Bunch of damage here too. Actually, I uh, know. I think we kill here. Yeah, we kill easy. Okay, took a little bit of damage. It's fine though. Um, let's upgrade protect orb. Yeah. Um, echo chamber pocket pocket watch. Pocket watch because we have a gift for sure. For sure. Um, I don't want any of these. I want none of them. Fuck you. Okay. Want multiple chests here, so we hope to go to the right. Cool. Come on, two bomb, two bomb relics. Okay. Oh, so. I'll take that. That's fine. Oh my god, we got Salt Shaker. So every time we kill an enemy, we get two max HP. And every time we use mine, I get three max HP. All orbs have persist. Sure. Weird one to take, but... And we'll just go uh, raw combats here. Salt Shaker is insane. We could end up with over 300 max HP. And I can use this multiple times as well now. Wow. Wow. So this is six... This would have been eight max HP I gain here, but instead I'm now gonna gain 16 max HP from this combat. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. And on top of all of that, we got some, you know, we got some, uh, some shields as well. Nothing crazy. Can use them multiple times here. There's no projectiles here, so I'm safe doing it. Didn't end up doing too well, but it's okay. Um, I hope this last event is the cake event. I would, I would very much appreciate it if the last one was the cake event. Otherwise, we'll want to get rid of it. Just clogging up our deck. Oh my gosh, dude. We are gaining so... We are gaining so much max HP right now. See? Bam. Killed. 2 HP. And then being able to use Refresh Circle multiple times is nice, right? Pocket Watch with Gift is nice. If we could, if we could buff up our bomb damage or enhance gunpowder or both, uh, that would be quite amazing. I wasn't even thinking of Salt Shaker, but that was... Salt Shaker is probably better than any bomb relic we could have taken. I mean, that is going to give us such an insane amount of health. And I'm just, I, I once again, I'm just so happy that we are fighting um, the Ballista and not the Wall. I honestly think we would have lost to the wall. 110,000%. Question is, do I heal here? Probably. Just, just to be safe. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. We have more combats here. Okay, so we have 168 max HP. Okay, discard, discard. Now that we have... um. Ring of Reuse also. I am so happy that we have Ambidextinary. Very, very happy about that. Be nice if we had more um, refreshes on the board, which we had a chance to, but obviously Ambidextinary was the right play there. Hey! Oh my gosh, look at this. 18 ball work, 2 muster coal. Gonna do it again. Yeah. Now we got the ore busts. 2 ore busts. No, we crit. How could we? Oh, that's such a loud noise when he heals a bunch of people. He's at 10 HP. And now we get to use multiple <laughs> restorbs. <laughs> oh, Salt Shaker here is insane. 
I cannot believe this. A, a HP bomb build. Oh, you want to know what I want? You want to know what I, I want the bully ball orb. Bully ball orb would be amazing. I think it's on this class. I think bully, bully ball is on every class. Bully ball would be insane. That's the one that it does extra damage for each bomb triggered that uh, fight. That'd be really, really good. Also, what would be really, really good is if this is the cake event. No way it is, right? But if it was, I would cream. Taking a fucking shit ton of damage here. But we're fine. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, I, I, I manifested the wrong orb. You're right, Bully Ball's the self-damage one. I manifested the wrong orb. Oh, how dare I? How dare I? How dare I, damn it. Oh, I manifested the wrong thing. Okay, heal. Cannot believe I did that. I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cake event, cake event, cake event, cake event. You know what? I'm fine with a combo. Actually, wait, is this an elite? This is an elite. Okay, I'm totally fine with that, actually. So we know to use the egg in this fight because there's no reason for us to keep the egg anymore. Okay, an elite fight here is actually absolutely beautiful. Totally, because also that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17 max HP we gain here. I can't wait to see the end of the run health pool. Yeah, this is, this is really good. This is, uh, this is a fun build. That's for sure. That is for sure. You manifested the Peglin Chef so hard you already ratted him out. <sighs> and also a uh, pocket watch, pretty nice here. Just hopefully, plenty of health coming into uh, the fight. That's the thing, when we heal, our, our max HP total is so high because it's a percent based thing. We are gonna get so much of a heal every time we, you know, heal. So we're almost, we're gonna be at over 200 max HP going into boss too. Normally, like, if we're lucky, we'll get like, like on a really good HP build, we'll have like 200 max HP at the end of the run. The fact that we are already now at 200 max HP is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Got protect orb here. New class idea for the 1.0, the Chonklin. It's just a bunch of max HP stuff. <laughs> okay, so discard, discard. Bam, we healed 28 there. Oh wait, we can use egg multiple times. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty dope. Forgot about that. Well, that's really good. That, that keeps us even healthier. Um, I don't think these bombs were enough to destroy that shield. Nah. Just had to channel my inner tank. But I'm telling you, we get enhanced gunpowder or Anything to buff our bombs, we're gonna, we're gonna be uh, having a good, good day. Unpretentious Pendant would still also be good. There's a couple times that we end up losing a lot of damage by accidentally hitting a crit, but I don't think that's a necessity. Uh, yeah, we should kill here. Let's go. Plenty of gold as well. So I could take another ore bust, but... Mm, actually, I think it's worth taking another ore bust. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's upgrade it. Uh, and oboe. So not only do we have a such a high health pool, but we have oboe as well protecting us even more. Okay. Once again, thank fuck we are not fighting the elite. Oh my god. Or sorry, uh, fighting the wall. Said the wrong thing. So I think we're totally fine here. just based on our overall health pool. I don't know, I don't know. We might just not do enough damage, but I don't know. We, we have so much, um, you know, as we're using the things that are buffing 
or giving us ball work. That'll give us a muster coal. Hopefully get some good damage values because the bombs aren't doing much here for us. That's for sure. And we don't gain max HP from killing uh, these summons. Good old Peglin. Okay. Uh, is that enough? I don't think that's enough to... Nope, two damage. Damn. We need, uh... We need some piercing. Okay, some more damage there. Yeah, because... Though he does... He will eventually run out of summons here. That's the thing. So... It's not like we'll get soft locked. He does eventually run out of summons. And having ambidextrinary here, really nice. Really nice. I think we are going to just have to wait that out, honestly. But we're building up our Mustercle. Building up ball work. We do have a single AoE orb, so. I wish the refresh circle was before protect orb here. Okay, so now give me a bunch, please. Uh, wasn't great. I'll do it again though. Probably still worth trying. Uh, he got rid of a lot of our damage there, <laughs> or uh, shield. Though I don't think we actually had too much to begin with. A single AOE orb. <laughs> got a lot of bombs though. <laughs> They do only do 20 damage, but they are infinite. There we go. There we go. Let's do it again. Let's keep bringing back all those bombs. And once again, we're just hoping that we don't fight Minesweeper, right? Minesweeper uh, boss ruined our build last time that was maybe gonna win. I, I just really hope we're not fighting Minesweeper. Uh, after we beat this here. Looks like we're low health, but we're at 132, so. And once again, this would have been so much damage. Oh, oh, nice, it is, cool. Okay, I didn't know we got enough bombs. Let's freaking go. Let's go. And we win. So we're back now up to 212 max HP. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. Okay, Matryoshka shell. Could be good with the protect orbs. Yeah, I actually think we do Matryoshka shell. I think we actually do that. That would be, we do have unpretentious pendant there, but I don't think that's actually as necessary. Uh, but Matryoshka shell will be causing us to hit the crit more often, but bombs are a big part of this. Plus the swarbs would be good. Plus we'd get so much from the protect orbs. So I think we go yeah, I think we go Matryoshka Shell. Um, just hopefully no Minesweeper. No Minesweeper, 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 no Minesweeper. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Minesweeper. Are you kidding me? Two Minesweeper. So Minesweeper murdered us last time, and we might get murdered to it this time, especially because we took Matryoshka Shell. But I don't know. We have a lot of HP. Maybe we can do it. I am very... Very scared that we are fighting a uh, minesweeper boss. Very, very scared. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even. I genuinely don't know if we'll be okay or not. I mean, maybe we'll have enough max HP. I mean, we're going to earn a lot of max HP. We just got to make sure we keep doing as many combats as we possibly can. Um, obviously, we have Salt Shaker. Every time we kill an enemy, we gain two max HP thanks to uh, my relic. Um, and, um, you know, we have the, uh, Restorb as well, but I don't know. I don't know. Need to get to 89 million HP to beat it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Because <laughs> even now, some of the, I think something that could do it for us is if we do get, so it's not Bully Ball, right? I manifested the wrong orb earlier and it was Bully Ball. I didn't mean to manifest that. I want to manifest whatever the bomb orb is. 
Well, so that would have done damage, but it didn't because we got the crit. Which, that's going to happen more, more often. We're going to get screwed by hitting crits more often. Doesn't really matter for the swarbs because the swarbs do a lot of damage, which is nice. Um, and also, I think I'm going to... Yeah, let me use this. Oh, no, bomb kills. Dang it, I wanted to be able to use restore one time, but whatever. Okay, uh, could get another restore, but I think that's overkill here. We're going to save our money for hopefully a good shot phase. Um, shock absorber. Yeah, that's what it's called. Grabby hand, whatever. Not really good. Okay. Okay, two shops in a row here. Every reload. Whenever you gain must circle, gain one additional. Okay, so we take that for sure. And then we'll just go ahead and remove Terra Ball finally. Cool. Okay, we can still fight the elite. Fighting elites is totally fine. We have so much health. I don't even think Upside Down Man could screw us. Um, okay. So this is still an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, we might still take a lot of damage. No, we're fine. Cool. Didn't get much, uh, what's it called? Money, but whatever. And fight the elite. We can handle it. We have 220 max HP. Okay. Okay, okay. Sphere's not bad. Sphere's not bad to start us off here. Not a bad way to start this. I don't really have to be that scared of red bombs besides, uh, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, Mine super bosses red bombs because he's going to keep scaling up his damage, but I don't know. I don't know. Because also, wait a minute. Yeah, we're going to... Alchemist Cookbook is going to keep bringing back his red bombs. I don't know. I don't know. Minesweeper boss was the worst boss we could have fought. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to brute force. Isn't there a relic that nerfs red bomb self damage? Um, I don't... I don't think so. Unless I'm forgetting it. Oh, there's an orb for that, yeah. Oh, I think that is what Shock Absorber's level 3 is. I think that's what it is. But you, I think it has to be active. Like, you have to either be holding it or using it or whatever. One damage for every ball work. No. Okay. Um, probably want to go to the right, fight as many elites as we can here, probably. Hold on to our money. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Enemy damage resistance has become weaknesses instead. I do believe that helps us um, against Mind Super Boss. A little bit. So, because uh, his he would be taking less damage to bombs. I mean, but our bombs do so little damage to begin with, but whatever. That is, that is a nice one. Little little bit of extra help. Because that'll mean the red bombs that we keep triggering over and over and over are going to actually um, hit him for a lot. Which actually might be really good because enemy damage resistance has become weaknesses instead. I didn't even think about that. Because that got buffed. Remember, it used to just say enemy damage um, enemy damage resistances are like mitigated. However it worded it. But now they become weaknesses. So we're actually, bombs are actually now good against him. I Like they might do double damage against him. So... I don't know. That probably just saved the run. Yeah, that that might have. That definitely might have. We now do double bomb damage to him. So, plus with the however much HP we're going to have, this is a good combat because we're going to get 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 17, 18. We're getting 19 max HP here. Oh, sorry. No, I, we get to use Restore multiple times. We're getting 22 max HP from this combat. Our, our max HP gain is unbelievable right now. Absolutely crazy. I, I Yeah, I think ask me anything. I forgot the, that it makes some weaknesses. Because I knew we really wanted for that fight. But yeah, no, that's... That's huge. That's huge. We're going to get suicide bombed probably, but I don't care. Actually, I lied. We're not going to get suicide bombed. Who do you think I am? <laughs> We're going to get suicide bombed now. Nope. <laughs> I got you guys again. They do 85 baseline, so now it's going to do 190 per bomb. I didn't even notice you're just chilling with 240 max HP. Yeah, all thanks to uh, getting my own relic early on here. We also got Salt Shaker. Uh, and we have a single restore. 
So we're vibing here. Um, I have a casual 28 extra uh, non-crit damage. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant to say uh, 38 non-extra crit damage. My bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was 4,000 damage. <laughs> casual 4,000 damage. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. And this is going to be 4,000 until the second it hits that crit, and then it's zero. Uncredentious Pendant would have been nice, but I definitely think Matryoshka shells the play. It's kind of funny he grabbed his leaf. I made a joke about Salt Shaker. And now we have Salt Shaker. You blessed us. 256 max HP. Um, are we going to be able to get a shop? We are not. Let's go. Whatever. We just gotta hope that maybe one of these is a shop. I really hope we get a random shop. That's, I think, one of the smaller chances, though. Oh, bombs detonate in one hit? Okay. Wait, why did I do that? I don't have enhanced gunpowder. I think that's good. Because we're already, we gotta already accept that we're destroying all those. <gasps> bombs do extra damage. Oh, boy. Okay, now I can go for this. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, and we, hey, this is so good. We got an elite here. This is an elite, and it's like the easiest elite in the entire game. So we're gonna get another relic here as well. We're shock absorber. I need shock absorber. That's the final, it's the final piece of this puzzle that I want. Actually, you, you know what? We may be really fine because of, remember last episode when we had that crazy blessed run, but we lost because all of the orbs just kept, um, or the pegs kept getting destroyed. Well, Recombobulator is going to mitigate that. So as long as we can survive the, the onslaught of red bombs, which guess what? This is an HP build. That should be what we could do for now, you know? So I don't know. I, I just, I still can't fully even determine whether we're going to win or not. I think we will, but I don't know. I mean, this is this is the counter to bomb builds. We just also happen to have its counter of Axe Me Anything and Recombobulator. Um, but yeah, also, yeah, freaking uh, Matryoshka Shell is doing so well with these Protect Orbs. Look at this, I mean, this is insane. It's an additional freaking 80 HP right there, plus all the damage. I think we're going to have 300 max HP before we get to him. I think we're going to have 300 max HP. God, I love my relic. I love my relic. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So happy this was an elite too. Like if I see enhanced gunpowder, I'm going to take it. But that still has a chance to throw and lose us the game, even with this HP pool. Um, let's see here. Prime, oh, Pumpkin Pie would be good, but no, Prime Rod of Frost, that way we can actually hit him. That was really good. That was really good. Absolutely really, really, really good. And I just love throwing ad ad like adjectives. Way too many adjectives in my, my thing. My, my sentences. Oh, we got suicide bomb. It made, it barely even made a dent in our uh, health. Barely even made a dent. Yeah, normally this this combat would scare me, but we're getting so much max HP because of this combat. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. And this is without wall chicken or cake. Uh, yeah, because of uh, my item grinding Monstera and then Salt Shaker. So every time I kill an enemy, I get two. Plus we had the two Restorbs as well, so. <sighs> okay, I'm like, I don't know. 
I hope we get a shop or something. I don't think we're going to. I want it. Uh, okay, discard, discard, whatever. Dude, yeah, shock absorber would be insane. Oh wow, we're already at 302. We're already at 302 health. Wowzers. Also, I am now noticing, I don't know why my notification didn't pop up for it, but thank you, Paul. Two bucks. So no worries, easy money. Hopefully, I hope it's easy money. Appreciate ya. I don't know why sometimes my stream notification. It's always when I say, uh, always when I <laughs> notice them, then they didn't pop up. There we go. Appreciate it though. Uh, okay. Taking a little bit of damage here, but now we have all the shield. We'll be fine. I might have sh maybe should have bought another Protect Orb, honestly. If it offers me another Protect Orb, I'll probably pick one up. Just to more chance for heals, more chance for more damage. I actually hope this doesn't kill. Damn it, damn it. I think it kills. Nah, I wanted my Restorbs. Whatever. Um, okay, I will heal. We might as well, right? <sighs> okay. No, it doesn't do any damage. Okay. There's really not a point to me um, upgrading those stones because I'm never using a stone. I mean, I will right now if I don't, you know, have something else I want to buy, but... So, oh my god, this is going to be two, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve... Um, 12. We're at least going to have 322 damage. Or health. My heal healed me 46. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, because we get those... I mean, we get 18 muscle. I just don't know if we're going to be gaining that much. Um... Okay, there's no way I'm gonna get to use my restored series there. You wanna know what would also be insane? A signal boost orb. Um, nah, so we'll just go ahead and uh, up heal and we're gonna upgrade all of these stones. Or half of them, I guess. Okay, 322 max HP. <sighs> Rematch against uh, freaking little gremlin dude already good chunk of damage here and we're gonna get to do this multiple times prime rod of frost is really gonna help us out as well ah oh, crit ah oh, whatever actually does the same amount of damage here so nice kill both already And now I'm gonna use these restorbs to dig that out. Doesn't matter that I didn't really do more. I mean, I wanted to do more damage, but whatever. Use the other restorb one more time. Nice. There we go. All the bombs are back. Oh, they're not red bombs. I thought it was gonna turn everything into a red bomb. Oh, no. Yeah, we're fine. We win. <laughs> Does it count if I time to grind guarantee seal of approval, guys? <laughs> like right before I know I'm gonna win. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> oh, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Get fucked, dude. I'm so happy. Because he fucked us up last uh, last video. He fucked us up last video. Dude, get fucked. Get fucking fucked. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because we, we didn't want to fight him, and he still showed up trying to ruin our build. Get out of here. If it helps, I mentally time to grind guaranteed seal of approval for you when you got axed. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Get fucking fucked, asshole. Fuck you. Let's go. Let's go. I am so happy. 330 max HP is what we ended up. 
the number of videos on round drill just for there to only be two videos on Baladin. I think technically it was like three or four, but you're right. Yeah, I do think Baladin. I mean, the scaling on that, the, the muster call we were getting was insane. 330 max HP on top of it being a bomb build, right? So there we go. We have Baladin and Round Drill beaten on Crucible 14. We get to go to Spin Venter next time. And then we have the dreaded Crucible 15. But oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Bomb builds are fun. We all, oh, there's still a rare relic I haven't seen or at least taken. But we always talk, right, about how, we always talk about how we want, um, uh, bomb builds to work on high crucibles. We were talking about it in this and, um, and we, we just, just, it just worked. It just worked. I mean, it just worked. We got a bot. Like I just, I'm so happy. Like two of my favorite builds ever max HP build with my own relic and a bomb build in high crucible level. Absolutely insane. This is one of the craziest Peglin videos I think we've done in a while. Absolutely so ecstatic about this build. So much fun. Um, and I guess so excited for us to be doing Spin Venter next episode. I mean, that was so, so, so hype. So, um, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you guys subscribe or ring that bell. I go the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more Peglin videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out some Peglin on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.